Yes. Did you see uh, Russell Brand in that interview when he was talking to, I think it's Jeremy Paxson? Yeah, Russell Brand absolutely nailed Jeremy Paxson in that interview. <laughs> yes. Um, and I, uh, Russell, Russell is a lovely man. He's a very, he's a very good man. He has, a, he's a very good-hearted man. He's, he's a very clever man, and he is deploying his uh, brilliance and his goodwill uh, for very positive purposes today. Now, now, listeners in America may not know, but Jeremy Paxman uh, is a, a, a premier frontline. British television journalist who is known for his extremely aggressive and penetrating interviews. And it's very rare to see Jeremy Paxman uh, defeated in an interview. <laughs> Jer Jeremy Paxman normally, uh, no normally defeats his interviewees and leaves them floundering. But in this case, when Jeremy Paxman interviewed Russell Brand and tried to attack him, uh, Russell Brand was absolutely brilliant, and he left Jeremy Paxman floundering. <laughs> uh, it was it was a, a consummate piece of uh, piece of conversation that took place there and it proved it proved that there's great depth to Russell Brand and the tendency just yes. to see him as a as a as a comedian but he's much more than that he's a he's a brilliant social commentator and he's working for the light Oh my gosh, I couldn't have said it better. He's unbelievable. Yes sir. Graham, you know uh Getting back for a moment to the idea of astronomy and then going into Mars. Um the Mars Mystery. Uh, you know, you wrote a book. Uh, I did, yeah, and, back in the 90s, 97, 1997, something like that. And nowadays, you know, I mean, they're bringing, all, there's all these, you know, things going on with Mars. You know, what are some ideas for our audience that are going on with Mars? Well, when I published The Mars Mystery back in 98, or even 97, um, I, was, I was making the point that Mars is a really mysterious planet. It, it, it's mysterious in lots of ways. I mean, first of all, there's the question, uh, still an open question, not settled, but one that we should be inquiring into, of whether there are any kind of uh, artificial structures on Mars. Yes. I'm not insisting that there are, but the area of Mars known as Sidonia uh, has upon it certain structures that appear like pyramids almost and that yes. and that are oriented to one another in what seem to be um, intelligent and organized ways and I would refer uh, listeners to the work of Richard Hoagland in particular uh, on the issue of whether or not there are there are structures on Mars. NASA has always uh, denied this. There's the famous case of the face on Mars, which looks yeah. like a face when photographed from the skies. And NASA has, uh, has attempted to, to convince us that this is simply some natural rocky outcrop with a rather bizarre appearance. Well, it may be. Uh, that may be that, uh, but I think it needs to be investigated much more closely. And I, I find that NASA dismisses these mysteries much too easily, and it makes me wonder whether NASA is indeed telling us the whole truth about what its uh, orbit, its orbiting uh, satellites and cameras have observed on Mars. And the second yes. thing about Mars uh, is that the planet, uh, at some point in its history which I believe was rather recently, within the last 20,000 years, NASA would argue that it was much earlier than that, that at some point in its history, Mars was uh, subjected to a, a tremendous a cataclysm, a cataclysmic event. Um, and I think that that cataclysmic event was being struck by uh, a comet uh, from uh, deep space, uh, that half of the surface of Mars has literally been torn off um, you can imagine uh, a cliff a mile high running all the way around Mars, around the entire circumference of the planet. And south of that cliff, if you like, uh, everything is a kilometer or a mile lower than uh, everything north of that cliff. So it's a, it, it's a very uh, it, it's, it's a very peculiar situation to look at. I, I call it the flayed planet. It's as though it's as though half of its skin has simply been 
torn off. Uh, and the suggestion is that before this cataclysm occurred, Mars may have had a very different uh, environment. It may have been much more hospitable to life. It almost certainly had running water, large quantities of water, oceans, in fact. Yes. And this is, um, this is being, to some extent, being borne witness to by the most recent uh, NASA research on Mars. So, you know, we have a very interesting planet here. It, we can reach it with, with uh, technology. We should not uh, make any pre-conclusions about what we're going to find there. I think the exploration of Mars uh, over the coming half century or so will have many, many interesting things to reveal.